So if you consider yourself a field player, that's just another way of saying you're a controller main. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the thought process on how to carry and ranked on Omen. This map's going to be Ascent. So starting off, my pistol buy on Omen varies depending on what I'm planning on doing for that round. If I'm dedicating myself to a hold on sight, I go with a classic armor and a flash. But if I'm playing towards somewhere like Cat or Market and I'm playing to rotate fast, I go with Ghost just in case if I gotta take some fights. Something that's non-negotiable is the fact that I always get two smokes. To be honest, I was a bit distracted, I think it was on my phone or something, so I wasn't really planning on anchoring anything. I just sat back and chilled and the second I heard a call out, Lost me man. I rotate fast to help my boys. I instantly smoke out B main and I also give my team a lurk smoke towards spawn that gives us cover so we can flood site and help our teammates on site easier without meeting them head on. They end up not hitting site because they probably got to tell that there is more than two people holding B so I can only assume that they're rotating to try to beat us towards the opposite bomb site. But sadly for them, I'm way ahead of that. Unless they re-hit, I can jump PK. I didn't see anything, I didn't see anything. Could be close. Oh shit, I'm coming. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh my god, you're close. So I hear these dudes stomping up cat. Since tree's not smoked yet, I hold an angle and allocate all my focus on reaction time here. I plan on just going for a single shot and instantly tucking because I want to play it safe and prioritize my life. It's all about crosshair placement right here. I get one and since I was last seen on the tight angle on minimap, this next fight I plan on taking I go a bit wider to disrupt where they expect me to be and I get another one tap. Since I'm feeling it and I want a clip, I just commit to holding since a 3 for 1 trade is more than enough to set up my team for victory. But I choke on the 4th and yet again I'm reminded why my wife left and took the kids. But it's okay because my teammates win the round, ha, <laughs> I'm in great pain. Anyways, I don't know what that was. The next round, I buy a Marshall and a Shorty. That's because they didn't get the spike down, so there's a very high chance that if they care about winning, they'll save. So that means that they should be one shot to my Marshall. One man. What the fuck is this timing? Come here B, come here B, come here B. They're coming B, they're coming B, 2B, 2B. Nice. 2B main, last 2B main. One enemy remaining. One is there for sure. The next round is our bonus and I do nothing of importance and we end up losing sadly. The next round, since it's our first buy round, I go one way A main because I want to make it a default to let the enemy team know that they're going to have to work for it if they want to get inside A main. There isn't much activity here but there is some towards mid. Can I get a smoke here? My teammate asked for some help so the next play really just derives on me rotating to help and reinforce my teammates. Right. One stuck right side. One on Phoenix stuck. I back off and play a little bit safer since we have numbers now. I flash a stall and stop any pushes towards me while tossing the smoke that I can rat in. When ratting in smokes, you're mostly always going to have a clear advantage. Here, I just place my back against the wall and just hold for somebody to walk in. After that, I take a peek towards Cat for some info, but since I don't want to give this guy a chance of peeking to me and get an advantage, I back up to hold an off angle while being shrouded by the smoke and periodically just peek out to catch some dudes with their pants down. Okay. After catching Cypher with his pants down, the very last dude was spotted towards A main, so I instantly turn around and go back up my sky and at the very least get a trade. This next round, I play towards market and I smoke top mid. They seem to love going mid, so I want to contest it a little bit harder this round and make them work for it. I want to be able to force as much utility from them as I can. I see a bunch of dudes swinging mid though, so I back up to fight another day. There's like three more running up mid. They're running up cat. They're running up cat. I need help. My teammate asks for help, so I instantly smoke cat to help him out. I'm you flashing too. I'm flashing for the retake. You can peek. You can peek. You flash. One more. As I'm rotating, I omen flash through the wall and let my teammates know that I flashed and reassure them that they can peek to get some free kills. I want to make sure that my omen flash isn't wasted. I want them to capitalize off it, and he does. He gets a free pick. Guys have, has their right now. Let's go, <gasps> One enemy remaining. Close right. Spike down. Nice kill. The next round, we're planning on making a play towards A, but the enemy team is hard rushing towards B. So I use my omen teleport back side to instantly rotate to help. 
You're being on site, Flashy. I know exactly. Like, they're out. You get one, we win. How do they run out? You get one, you all get one. I'll ult. Copper bomb, copper bomb. Bumpy corner, buddy. 90 went on jet, brother. Find it. When, 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 uh, cover, cover. Wait, last guy, sorry. Bloody for you, man. Oh my god. This smoke that I tossed on the fly was a true MVP of the round. Not only does the smoke slow the enemy team down, it also puts them on edge. For all they know, I could be playing in the smoke, sitting behind it, I could push it at any second too. And from their point of view, there's so many different angles that I could isolate with all the leeway that the smoke is giving you. When you're playing a smoke character, being ratty is a skill that you gotta improve on. The more annoying you are to find and kill, the more time your teammates have to come and help you. Since I'm feeling myself, and I already know that these guys love going mid, this next round that's where I'm going because I want to contest middle because I want to put a stop to their map control. Doesn't matter what agent or what role I'm on, I'm going to do what I got to do with what I got in my arsenal. Just because I'm a smoke player, that doesn't mean I can't play aggressive. I'm smoking top mid right here to force them out in the open so I can pick them off from there. I can, I can help you. We end up throwing a couple rounds for funsy, so we're gonna skip to this round. I wanna make sure I'm switching it up with what I'm contesting. From middle to A to B, there's three big lanes, so there's plenty of different routes that you can take. These next rounds, I'm mostly just playing hard support. Since we got a little bit too over aggressive and we lost a couple rounds, now I'm just smoking for my sky and I'm just ready to trade. Then I move on and then I smoke for my phoenix whenever he asks, and then I rotate to help him out. Smoking off him in. Catch a guy through smoke, and we win the round. The next round, I play for an A rush, but I literally see nothing, but we still win. Yippee. Lotus flower bomb. The following round, I'm expecting them to get desperate because even though they strung a couple rounds together, we won the following two rounds without a hitch. So I commit to the A rush just in case if they get antsy, and they finally come. I'm just holding my flash out and the second I hear their sight execution start, I blind the entrance and I completely stop their push. The drone, I can't break them. Splashing? How they no? Yeah. Blind. Swing again. Hold my bot. That's side. Right, right. Bandy, bandy. Wow. So even though I didn't get any kills or do anything, that singular flash probably had a bigger impact than I realized at the time. Because you gotta think about it. If I flash like two or three of their guys, there's a good chance that some of them won't be able to go out and follow their jet. But once you fracture the push, it'll be easier for my teammates to go out and start fragging out. They probably have a siphon on B, right? Surely, that's why we run A, no? No. Right after cooking up a strat with my boys, I unfortunately have my internet go out. My internet came back, but I didn't realize it by the time because I was in the other room checking out my modem, and sadly, we lose the pistol round. Alright, we leave. I dart, we leave. Actually, so we just cut noise, just cut noise. Let's, let, let, let Phoenix go. I, I just drove back in here. Come, 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 come. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm trying to... Um... Omen, can you smoke for us? Yeah. We hitting? He's joining, joining close, he's joining close! Oh my god. Mark it, mark it, mark it! Guys, come! So I come back to my teammates forcing up and pulling out a round out of nowhere. The fact that it was an anti-eco round marks the beginning of the end for the enemy team. Their mental was broken after that round. Fucking cattle for it. So after the jet just ran at us with a classic and died two seconds through the round, I'm 99% sure that the rest of this game is just gonna go pretty smoothly. As you can see, I started off the round by smoking cat. That's because if we hit A, we can get away with heaven being unsmoked. Damn. No way. Oh, 
Thorn, you're fine, you're fine. I'll dart for you. I'll dart. Dart it now. He's darted, he's darted. Run at him. Whoa, 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 whoa. 120 on site, okay. Go on site. One more no? site, no? Yeah, one's on site. I'm joining it. One's close. One HP, one HP. One enemy remaining. Last one. I guess we stick to rushing the car. Bless you off the road. Since my team is committing to a hard B rush, I toss my utility off rip and after that I'm free to play however I please. This time I want to play for a late lurk towards mid because I want to punish over rotations and that's exactly what happens because their assumedly tilted cypher is just stomping up cat willy nilly so I just swing and take him out. Then I go back towards B and just close out the game. Bro, it is, uh, he's behind the smoke. He can Shut move. And that is how I went 27 and 7 on Omen for the easiest carry of my life. If you're interested in a chance of free coaching, here's today's code word.